Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a very special video. We're going to be swatching highlighters from a brand new cosmetics company called 65 Roses Cosmetics. This company is owned by a very good friend of mine. She's a stay-at-home mother. She put a lot of her heart and soul into making these. Courtney, just like me, she's a highlighter whore. We absolutely love highlighters. I think I have more highlighters than I do anything else in my collection. There are currently eight shades from what I can see in this collection. I got my own little bundle and I have six shades here. This is not PR. I bought this with my own money. She's a brand new company and I want to show my support as much as I possibly can. The only shade that I am not currently seeing right now in her Etsy store is this one, which is Baby Boy. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. And then if you do like it and you're interested in it, you can go ahead and message her through her store FB page. I'll also drop that link down there below. And then you can ask her about it and see if there's, you know, this one is available or not. Each highlighter comes in a 36 millimeter pan and inside the compacts, each one has a mirror, which I absolutely love. That's just a really nice little feature for something this small. There is 3.8 grams of product in each one of these pans. You can use these on your eyelids as well as your eyeshadows, and they're just absolutely beautiful for that. These are handmade, cruelty-free. They are ethically sourced, and all the ingredients are from the U.S. Let's go ahead and move on to swatches and talking about the formulas. The first two shades I'm going to talk about are called Rose and Goddess. Those two I do not have in my bundle, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop in some pictures now so you can see what they look like. First, we have Rose, which is on the left. Rose is this beautiful, pinky, rosy, shimmery shade. And then Goddess, which is on the right, is this beautiful, rich, gold shade. Kind of reminds me of something, you know, like from Greek mythology. Just absolutely beautiful shade. As soon as I'm able to, I'm going to add these two to my collection as well. This is the first shade. As you can see on the back of each one of these little compacts, there's the name of the shade. Let's take a look in the inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. In the compact, it's kind of, it looks kind of white and it has a bit of a purple shift. This shade has a little bit more glitter to it. So if you decide that you want to use this one on your eyelids, I would lay down a glitter glue first and then just kind of press this one on with your fingers. But it's absolutely beautiful on a skin as well. Let's go ahead and do the swatch. This is Queen Bee in the swatch. So you can see, like I said, it has a little more glitter to it. Just beautiful little flecks of purplish glitter. But it has this gorgeous purple reflex. It's very pretty pretty on the skin. The next shade we have is Phil and Fritzy. This one has a really pretty kind of a turquoisey green kind of a shift to it. This one was named after a beautiful drag queen that we know and love and she's a good friend of ours. Her name is Felina Fritz. I'll go ahead and I'll drop her picture in here so you can see what she looks like. As you can see she has the Phil and Fritzy on her face and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. That's Phil and Fritzy swatched. It's kind of hard to see in the swatch. You could see it better in the picture of Felina actually wearing the highlighter, but it has this blue turquoise. See, so like it starts blue, then it shifts to green, and then it has little flecks of gold in it. It is absolutely beautiful. Of all the highlighters that I have so far in the collection, like I said, there are two more that I want to add to my collection as well. This one is one of my absolute favorites. Usually I'm not really into a colorful highlighter, but this one is just so pretty that I am so looking forward to actually giving this one a try. And this one would be really, really pretty on the eyelids as a shimmer eyeshadow as well. Next is Baby Boy. This one has kind of a golden silvery kind of reflex to it. This is the one that I said early in the video I did not currently see in the Etsy store. But like I said, if you message her, she might be able to tell you if it's actually available or not, or if this is just one of the shades that she's working on. But as you can see, it just has this beautiful golden silvery reflect to it. Now let's go ahead and look at it swatched on the skin. Like I said, it has this kind of a golden reflex. As you can see, it starts off gold. And then when you turn, it goes from silver and then back to gold and it looks like there might be like a little bit of a blue kind of an undertone in there as well. This one is so wet and creamy. It reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters. Just an absolutely beautiful formula. This one is Aurora and as you can already see it has this beautiful kind of a purplish gold shimmer to it and shift. 
it goes from purple to gold back to purple and kind of a burgundy undertone let's go ahead and put this one on the skin so you can see what it looks like in a swatch it's a beautiful purple into gold then back to purple shift to it this one also has a little bit of glitter in it it's very fine purplish glitter but it's so fine that it's it's not something that you just really notice when you put on the skin it's not like you're gonna have glitter just kind of falling all over your face or anything like that which is really nice this one is also just really shiny wet and smooth this one is sweet tea sweet tea is a deeper bronzier gold shade i absolutely love this one this one would be beautiful on deeper skin tones let's go ahead and see what it looks like swatched on the skin there we go and that's how it looks when you swatch it this one is such a beautiful rich coppery bronzy gold oh my god on deeper skin tones this is going to look absolutely beautiful just magical on the skin and if you're more fair this would be absolutely pretty as a shimmer high shadow excuse me shimmer eyeshadow it is just absolutely beautiful like this is absolutely one of my favorite shades as well i absolutely love this one the last shade we have is chameleon this one looks kind of brown and golden but it has this deep rich burgundy purple shift to it this one is just absolutely gorgeous beautiful formula let's go ahead and see what it looks like swatched on the skin it's chameleon on the finger go ahead and swatch that you see what i mean how it has like a kind of a brown sugary kind of caramelly look to it but then it also has that beautiful deep rich purple burgundy shift just absolutely gorgeous i love highlighters like these when they have this kind of a wet look to it and just metallic and shiny on the skin this is an absolutely lovely formula these are going to be really really wonderful in my kermit highlighter collection this is just an absolutely beautiful highlighter formula i absolutely love every single one of these shades and like i said i'm normally not into a color highlighter but these are just so beautiful i am so looking forward to playing with these even more in the future and that's all six shades from my little bundle here swatched as you can see they're absolutely beautiful just shimmery and metallic wet looking on the skin i love a smooth wet looking highlighter right now i did not say in the very beginning right now i'm actually wearing sweet tea on my face and as you can see it's just beautiful and smooth and just looks so natural on the skin let's do a quick little price list rose and sweet tea are eight dollars Phil and Fritzy, Aurora and Goddess are 12. Chameleon and Queen Bee are 10. I'm gonna drop the links to both her Etsy store as well as her storefront Facebook page so that way you can get all the information that you need if you have any further questions about her or about her products. You can message her through the Facebook page. She's an absolutely wonderfully sweet person and I absolutely love her highlighters. Like I said at the beginning of the video, she put a lot of heart and soul into making each and every one of these. And I know she's working on some more formulas and some more shades. So just, just keep a lookout for those. Everything that I'm wearing on my face will be down in the description box. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe and make sure you tap the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.